Peculiar. Yes, mommy. I love you. I love you too. You know I love you so much, right, Dali? Do you know if you have any question, you can always come to mommy? If you have any question, you can ask mommy, okay? I'm here for you and I love you so much. Oh, oh that's my sweetheart. Come here, sweetheart. Mm, I love you. Okay. Do you know I love you? Yes. I love you very much. And do you know if you have any question, you can always come to mommy. Yeah? If you have any question, you always come to me, okay? okay. I'm here for you. Hmm. My children need to do nothing to earn my love. As a mother, my role is to love my children unconditionally. Welcome to Parenting Essentials for this week. This is the home of key strategies to parenting. You are welcome. My name is Hoye, Oye Layo, and hi, I'm your parenting coach. If you are an old subscriber, I want to say thank you for coming back. And if you are a new subscriber, thank you for joining this beautiful family. And if you see my face for the first time, just as I said earlier, my name is Oye for short. Oh yeah, liar. Don't go anywhere without clicking the subscribe button. Join this beautiful family where we learn key essentials to parenting and how to have a home that is heaven on earth. Today, I'll be talking about things you need to constantly say to your children on a daily basis. Number one, just as I mentioned earlier, your job as a parent, be it a father or a mother, is to love your children unconditionally. Not because of what they have done or what they are doing, but as a parent, that is your role. Be it a good child or be it a child that is challenging. The most important thing is for you to love, love, love. That's your job. Ensure you daily say this to your children. I love you. Yes, just that word. I love you. It is very important for every parent who is intentional about parenting to say these words. Very simple, but yet powerful. It's a word that can heal. It's a word that can give strength. It's a word that can give reassurance to your children. I remember growing up, being an African girl, Nigeria to be specific, growing up in a Yoruba family, I can't really remember a day my mom or dad telling me I love you. It was too expensive, not because they do not love me, but it's not part of their way or it's, it wasn't part of their subconscious mannerism to say I love you. Even though I was very sure, of course, my parents, they love me. But it wasn't a word that I heard out of their mouth a day growing up. So, I've come to realize that for us to help our children in this generation, we have to ensure that we constantly remind them and to reassure our children of our love for them by uttering the word, I love you. This might sound simple. A lot of children ended up finding love in wrong places. They went ahead and found love in wrong places. Not because there was no love in their home, but because they weren't sure. Because this word was scarce. Just saying, I love you. I've said this in several of my videos that our duty as parent is to love our children. Even the so-called challenging children, the stubborn ones, those who don't listen, those who are wayward. Our job is to keep loving, loving, and loving. Through love is where the healing and correction is gonna take place. So, ensure as a mother, as a father, that you daily say, that simple sentence to your children. I love you. Yes, I love you. But I mean this time, say it to your children. 
I love you. Another thing you have to ensure that you find a way of saying it to your children is if you have any question, ask. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It should be a kind of daily reminder or daily statement to your children because it goes a long way. In our world of uncertainty today, with the crisis going on around the world, it is very important for us to build that relationship with our children that can give them the confidence to always come back to ask questions when in doubt. I'm sure you don't want your children to go looking for solutions in the wrong places. So, your duty as a parent, be mother or father, is to ensure that you daily pass across this statement to your children. If you have any question, ask me. Let them know that you are always available. Let them know that you are a friend that is close by in case of trouble. By so doing, you are also building your children for the challenges that are coming ahead of them. Life is full of challenges. That we can't cut away. That we can't take out of life. But when you say these things to them, they will know that at a particular point in time, I definitely going to ask my mom questions. It means they are going to get things to question. And telling them will give them a reminder that mommy is always there for me. I can run to mommy or daddy for a solution. This brings me to a very important thing that has been on my mind. In fact, I wanted to make a video about it so long ago, but I've not been able to come up with a video. In the way parents pick offense on some questions from their children. What sort of question am I talking about? Mommy, did you brush your teeth? Mommy, have you taken shower today? Hmm, what's that smell? A lot of parents are going to boil for these questions. They're going to get upset like, what do you mean? That is rude. How are you talking to your parent like that? Come on, relax, mommy. Calm down, daddy. It's just a simple question. If your reaction when you get this kind of question is boiling warm, it means you're guilty of something. Suck yourself. That means you didn't brush your teeth or you didn't take shower or you farted. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's okay if you did that accidentally. Just say, oh, I'm sorry. Apologize. Sometimes the children will get them perceive something. We teach them manners through these ways. There will be a reason why your child is asking you, Mommy, did you brush your teeth? Have you taken a shower? What's that smell? A lot of parents have unintentionally, if I may say, or ignorantly, pardon me for that word if you find it offensive, actually it's ignorant teach their children bad mannerism that when they grow up they tend when they become an adult they tend not to be able to hold some correction from their spouses only have you taken shower they pick offense about everything they pick offense only you're sweating can you just go take shower they pick offenses on these little things because of the way they were brought up so please get your children comfortable with these things and if your children are asking you these questions, please, parent, mommy and daddy, do not pick offense. There is no offense. If there's something you need to apologize, just go ahead and apologize. What's my point today? Daily, reassure your children that they can ask you any question. Don't forget when you say they can ask you any question, there might be some questions that will come to you unexpectedly that might be offensive to you, which is not quite normal, but try as much as possible to work on your emotion and see it as a good question. Take it with good faith and good heart. Tell your children I love you. Tell them they can always come to you for 
any question in case in doubt and by so doing you are safeguarding your children it is very important for us to safeguard our children our family protection was in place i love you you can ask me any question is a means of safeguarding your children and it's a means of you protecting your family i hope i've been able to give you a very vital point in your way to positive parenting today don't forget i am hoye oye layo and if you're new here please don't go without clicking the subscribe button please drop your comment your comment means a lot to us we love reading your comments and we're definitely going to get back to you in case you have questions i'll see you in the next parenting essential video i love you see you next time Bye.